Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I decided to make a quick video on how to downgrade the BIOS version of the Inside H2O BIOS. So, you might want to downgrade your BIOS. For example, on this PC, the touchscreen stopped working after I updated to the latest BIOS. Some other stuff that might happen is you might have worse battery life or um, really just any issue you're having after you update your BIOS. If you try to go back a BIOS version, um, it gives you this error right here saying this BIOS file is not allowed to flash. The flash process will be terminated. So um, here is how you can get around that. So you are going to need a program called 7-Zip. Once you have that downloaded and installed, just right click the um, application you download from your PC's manufacturer website. And then you're just going to do 7-zip extract files and then um, choose where you want it to go. For this video, I'm just going to be extracting it to the desktop. And then I just have this message right here because I already extracted it. It will give you this error right here saying that one of the files had a like issue copying or something. You can just ignore that and then click close. Now open the folder that it created on your desktop. And you're going to be looking for a file called platform.ini. It's a configuration settings file. Do control left to open up the find window. And then type in bios underscore version underscore check. And it's going to be the second time it shows up in this file. So not the first one here, but then click find next again. And then this one right here is the one that you sh should need to change the values on. There's going to be two values you have to change. Flag, change that to zero. And check by BIOS, change that one to zero. And then once your file looks like this, you can close out of the find window and save the file. Then just run the um, application right here that flashes the BIOS. And it should um, just go through all the stuff without an issue. And then reboot and flash the BIOS. And now it's booted up, you can see that the touchscreen works fine. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or you're having an issue doing this, just drop a comment and I'll do my best to try help you. And I'll see you in the next video.